Hello everyone. Uh, in this tutorial, we will go through how to do differential expression using microarray dataset. Previously, in the last tutorial, I explained you how to perform the different uh, uh, microarray data normalization and annotation. And for that, I'll go uh, through you the steps. You just need to write the microarray data normalization and annotation in our tutorial. Uh, you can find this in my channel here uh, with the title microarray data normalization and annotation using our tutorial. If you want to go through the process from the beginning, you can just uh, start running this um, step by step. Uh, and first you need to download these data set and then make a file and then call these packages. And by the end of the uh, tutorial, you will be you, you will be uh, you will get to know that how to perform the annotation of the microarray data set. So this is a straightforward process. And the next step is what you need to do is to do the uh, uh, differential expression and for the differential expression uh, what we have to do is to first call all the libraries and uh, and these are previously explained in the tutorial and these are the data sets which I used in this sort file and so on and so forth right so uh, first call the libraries and after calling the libraries uh, all these four or five libraries for annotation then I'm just calling the first step that is to call the cell files so just calling the cell files here and then the now now I'm reading all those 10 cell files here you can see all those 10 cell files are read here and the next step is to normalize so this RMA command is actually to normalize the microarray expression data and those normalized expression data cell files will be stored in e uh, set uh, variable right so first uh, this will do the normalization and the first the background correcting step and then the normalizing step and then calculating the expression right so now that this thing is done the next step is we for to start doing the, the uh, normalization uh, differential expression one more important library is the lima package so you just call the library lima and the next command is to write p data e set now it will uh, tell you that how many data sets are present in this and these are 10 files which are present here right so after calling these 10 cell uh, 10 files the next step is to make the groups of these files so i'm just making here for your understanding you uh, depending on your data set you can devise your own groups. For example, if you have um, good or bad or tumor versus normal or any disease stage versus late early stage versus late stage, that depends on your question. Here I'm just dividing that uh, between tumor and normal. So there are 10 data sets. So the first data set is, first 10 would, five would be tumor samples. So these are five tumor. The next five would be the normal samples so i'm just writing the groups here like normal normal uh, normal uh, three normals and then fourth normal normal and then normal right now uh, these are ten, uh, five normal and five tumor samples, and I will make the group here. So I'm just clicking that, and now you can see that these are the groups are saved into this uh, variable, right? So the next step is to uh, uh, I'll use the model matrix command to make these groups as vector for the you know, for this analysis. So model dot matrix and then as factor your factor bracket groups yeah so yes so if i just run this command i can see that now the the designer said so if i just run this you can see that the groups are divided there are 10 uh, and the first five are considered as one and uh, those are tumor and the next five are grouped as zero that is 
uh, no. So for now, I'm just right designing the column names. Uh, for example, I'm just writing here column names design C uh, tumor uh, between tumor versus normal. Right. So you can uh, write this the way uh, the any variable you have uh, for your analysis. And now the important command that is to use the lm uh, fit command that will actually there are two major commands lm fit command and e base so first is lm fit e set design and yes i just run this command here and the next one is fit e base And then write fit yeah so now uh, these are run here so next one options digits equals digits equals to two here yeah so now the next one Ah, yes top now I'll just call the top table and this command will actually uh, save all the differentially expression files into the uh, into the res command and uh, yes so now just write fit comma number inf and then adjust method none and coefficient equals to one yes so this will actually uh, just run the command here oh it's giving an error inf do not found so actually this is the no there's some other problem here oh i so i have to write i and now you can see that the command is run here and then write uh, dot uh, table and it will save that into whatever uh, file name you save here i am here writing differential diff underscore expression dot text and the file should be separated by tab right let's see tab separated by tab okay so now i'm just writing it down here so it will take some seconds and, and now it's done so if I just open this file here, if you see, you can see that these are all the probe IDs because the files are not exactly annotated. These are just a normalized expression based on normalized expression data. I have just called the differential expression. And if I copy this here, let's suppose I copy again for your understanding. I just copy the file here. You can see that it's easier to view on the Excel. So just making it easier for you yeah so here yeah, the log full change of each variable uh, and that these are sorted based on the p-value so the most significant based on the most significant p-value you can say the minimum p-value this is the log full change this is the average expression and this are uh, the rest of the p-values and b and t values right so in this way you can perform the microarray data normalization annotation and then differential expression so this tutorial is specifically for differential expression the previous one was for normalization annotation i think now you have a better understanding of how to perform microarray data normalization and annotation thank you very much bye bye